Hi, this is Ryan with the Blair Technology Group. Uh, today's video will be taking a look at how to restore your machine back to day one, just like it was the very first time you had gotten into Windows out of the box. Uh, all of our machines do come with an included restore partition on the hard drive, and this video will basically take you through the process of how to access this and uh, how to go through the setup. First thing we'll want to do is verify that the machine is powered completely down. You can do this by holding the power button on the machine down for roughly about five seconds or till you see all the lights turn off. Uh, once you are confident that the machine is completely down, uh, we can go ahead and hit the power button to turn it back on. And after a few seconds after you turn it back on, we're going to be looking for the splash screen. It's either going to come up as Dell, HP, or Lenovo, uh, depending on the, the make of your machine for sure. Uh, once you do see this splash screen, uh, you will want to basically start hitting uh, F six on your keyboard repeatedly uh, until you get to the uh recovery screen. So as you can see on uh, my computer here, this is a Dell, so uh, it comes up here, uh, we start tapping F6, and it's going to go ahead and bring us to this Windows is loading file screen uh, with a white bar going across the bottom. Uh, we'll load fairly quickly here as you can see. This will bring you to the system recovery options window. Everything is already preset here. So the only thing you'll need to do is go down to the next button and just go ahead and left click on next. The following window here, you'll want to select your username. So it's going to have something home group as default typically. Uh, you'll want to go ahead and select whatever you had put in for your username during the initial setup process. Uh, if you did have a password on your machine to log into Windows, uh, you will need to type in this password as well. Uh, so if you do not have a password, you can just leave this box blank. Uh, once you have that taken care of, uh, you can just go down to OK and click OK. The following window will let you choose a recovery tool. The recovery tool we're looking for is reinstall windows and this will go ahead and reinstall windows back to the very first time you had ever gotten into windows when you first got the machine. So I want to just go ahead and move the mouse on over reinstall windows and then just left click it. This will bring up a reinstall windows box. It'll give you some basic information about what's going to go on through the process here and how it's basically going to delete everything off your computer and uh, start from scratch. Uh, once you've read this information, you can certainly go ahead and just mouse over the, next, the yes button and go ahead and click yes. After going through the setup process here, it's going to bring you to the install windows. What this is going to do is it's going to reload windows from the restore partition. This process typically takes about 10 to 15 minutes or so. Uh, we are going to cut out a lot of this just to, to save time on the video. So uh, we'll come back here shortly when it's roughly at about 98%.
After the reboot, you're going to come back to this window here, and it is going to finish this last check mark completing installation. Uh, this will take a couple more minutes, usually about three to five, depending on your machine. Uh, we are going to cut this out just to save some time, so we'll come back uh, when this is completed. After this last reboot, it is going to bring you to the setup windows window. Uh, it will basically be the same process you went through when you first got the machine. So you want to go ahead and name your PC and you can name it anything you want. You can use your name or just random numbers and letters. It, it doesn't matter. Uh, once you do have something in there, just go ahead and click next. This will bring you to the setup password window. Uh, you can go ahead and type in a password in the first box. You want to type in that exact same password in the second box to confirm it. And uh, the third box will be some type of hint to give yourself in case you do forget it. Uh, if you do not want a password, you don't want to have fool with logging in your machine or logging in when you wake it up from sleep mode, you can just leave all three of these boxes blank. Uh, when you are done with this you can just go ahead and to go to the next button and left click on next the following window will allow you to choose what updates that you want to install uh, we want to use one of the top options either the top one or the middle one if you use recommended settings uh, it will download all the Microsoft updates uh, typically you don't need them all uh, also use recommended settings will provide uh, Microsoft with some anonymous information from your machine your browsing habits so they can uh, help improve some of their software uh, if you don't want to share any of your information uh, you'll probably want to go ahead and install important updates only uh, this will also cut down on the amount of updates you need to download uh, typically the download the updates that you're missing here you do not need the vast majority of people do not need these updates um, and you still will have the option just in case you do run into some issues to download them later. Once you've made your selection here, it's going to bring you to the time and date settings. You want to make sure that your time and date are set properly before you hit the next button. You also want to go ahead and choose your time zone. Uh, default is Pacific time, so if you're not you know, on the West Coast, uh, then you'll want to go ahead and uh, left click on this drop down box here and select your proper time zone. We are in Eastern Time here, so we're going to go ahead and select Eastern Time US and Canada. Once you have your proper selection, you can just left click on it, it'll close it as you can see here. And then once you're all set, just go ahead and left click on Next, and it will uh, finalize your settings and we'll be loading Windows 7 here very shortly. The very first thing you'll see here is restore my files, recovery is completed. Um, unless you've made some type of backup to a USB drive, which pretty much no one ever does, you can just go ahead and hit cancel. Uh, once you go ahead and hit cancel, it will be just like the very first time you got into Windows 7 uh, from 
you know, out of the box. Uh, so you'll have to re-download all your Windows updates, reinstall all your programs, and basically do the whole setup process from scratch, just like it was when you first got the machine. Uh, we do have some videos on our YouTube as well as linked on our sites on what you need to do from this point uh, to get the machine running uh, as efficiently as possible. So you definitely want to go ahead and check out one of those videos and run all your Windows updates. Uh, if you do have any questions or run into any problems with the restore partition, certainly feel free to let us know. You can give us a call at uh, 855 Blair TG. Again, that's 855 Blair TG. Uh, we are available Monday through Friday from uh, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This will conclude our video on how to access your restore partition. Hope this helped and uh, have yourself a great day.